Right. Okay. So um, t tonight we're just going to be um, going going through some um, SEO training with uh, Mr. Mr. X, our our special guest, and uh, this is one of our weekly trainings that we have every single week for our team team members. So for this week, we just thought we should open it out to everybody, and we know that you will get some very good um, uh, value out of out of this training. So th there are lots of our uh, new new faces here, and for and for those of you who don't know myself and um, Nikki, that's that that's us. That's Nikki at the top there, and that's myself there. We've we've been online now for about two 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 years, and we've been getting some incredible re re results. Okay, so um, as I said earlier on, this is um, mainly for our. Uh, empower network team and um that's that's the business that we do and um for those of you who have been hearing about it and 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 don't know what it's really about it's actually it actually works and here is just some proof for, of uh, what my myself and um, Nikki have been able to achieve so that's a um screenshot from um Nikki's back 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 office and this one here is a um, screenshot from my my back office so um you know this this actually works now what is empower network um it's 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 actually an uh, internet marketing website or or a blog and you can blog about anything you can you can blog about your your business your passions whatever it is that you want to to blog about and um the the main thing about empower network is the um training that you get you know we have very good training that can take anybody a a complete newbie and you know you you, you can apply that training to start getting results in the uh, business so empower network teaches the um, three three c's of, of of online marketing which is creating traffic um, capturing leads and 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 turning those leads into into sales, and uh, this is actually the uh, lifeblood of of any online business. It doesn't matter what you're doing; you have to be able to follow these 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 three C's to to get results. So why is it different? It solves the, the the two biggest problems that network marketers face, which is you know most network marketers do not have. The cash flow that that is needed to keep their their business running, and um, with this you, you can actually use it as a, a means to to generate that extra cash flow to run your um, network marketing business. The the other problem that is that it solves is not getting leads. You know, a, a lot of net network marketers are struggling for leads, and with with Empower Network. We have dedicated capture pages that are dedicated to um, network marketers, and you can use those capture pages to, um, you know, to generate leads for your network marketing business. So why is it different? The 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 commissions are paid at the front end, and what I really love is the one hundred percent commissions. I've been pr promoting other products that pay you like forty percent or thirty percent, but 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 with with this, you actually get to keep one hundred percent commissions, which I think is um is amazing. And and then the online training that 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 you get is amazing. Like I've been in 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 other systems myself and and uh, Nikki, we've been in in other systems. And when we came into into this, we were like, "Wow, you know, the um, training we haven't seen anything like that anywhere else." So, um, so now at this point, which I know you you've all been waiting for this, I am I am going to hand over to Nikki, and she is going to introduce Abdul Wahid. So, Nikki, I'm just going to sh should I hand over the um, slides to you? Yeah, 
No, 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 don't worry, because okay. we'll hand straight over to uh, Abdul. If you sort that out now, just while right. um, I just sort of explain how I know Abdul. Um, Abdul is, uh, you know, a friend of mine who I met on Facebook. First of all, we were just chatting actually just before this and uh, couldn't work out exactly when we chatted, but it, it was definitely to do with SEO, which is what you're going to be learning tonight. Um, and it was on Facebook. We were having a little bit of a friendly banter over a keyword that we were both ranking for at the same time. Um, and over a course from uh, Rob Four, who is the master at SEO. And now, you know, what you're going to, what Abdul's going to be sort of sharing with you this evening, you take it on board. You know, some people love SEO and, and will really run with it. Um, you know, I did the same course as Abdul, and, you know, Abdul loves this stuff. And, you know, he's really, really good at it. So, you know, pay attention to what he says and, and, and what he's sharing you with you, because it does really work. But even if you only take away just a small part of it, you know, as Abdul will share with you, it's even if you just do a little bit of this, you're still going to get much better results than, than if you do nothing at all. So it's just one strategy, okay? So it's a strategy that we're going to share with you this evening with somebody who loves this stuff and is, you know, I can't think of anyone better to uh, you know to be going through this with us um, so with that being said over to you Abdul are you there and can you hear us I am here Nikki thank you very much Excellent. can everybody hear me loud and clear I think so I think so Excellent. Excellent. well thank you very much Nikki for the introduction and I really appreciate you giving me the chance and opportunity to get, get on this webinar and teach something you know within SEO something that I absolutely love and I like teaching, something that I'm passionate about, okay, which actually gets some you know, massive results and it's a free strategy to a certain degree. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started with the slides actually, okay, uh, introduce myself and show you a bit, bit, bit more about myself and what the results I've got and we get into the training then. Um, well, two, try two seconds, Abdul, sorry, two uh -huh. seconds, yeah. Ruth, we need to hand over um, to Abdul. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Hold on. That's it. Yeah, have you, can you see my screen, guys? Yeah. Excellent. So um, what I'm going to try and do is keep this as uh, short as possible, okay, guys? Because I know it is a bit late, okay? So I'm going to get right into the whole thing. And what we're going to be covering, okay, is SEO and try to keep it as simple as possible, yet more effective in your marketing and lead generation, getting traffic. So uh, let's get started, guys. So I'm just going to get into my first slide. Okay, a little bit, bit more about myself okay, before we get started and begin about this, okay? So um, this is just a few pictures from the last summit I was at with some of the leaders in our industry, okay? And on the right, you guys can see just me and my wife and my little, little, little monster over there. And I've been in network marketing now for about nine years or so, okay? I think, I think this is my ninth year, actually. Um, I've generated you know, quite tons of leads, free traffic, leads in our sales using just SEO as well as paid marketing, okay? But my main thing is just SEO uh, and that's how I generate most of my traffic, leads and sales. I actually generated my uh, first 10 leads, okay, uh, on my second day in one of my MLM. It was, a tool, it was a tool, a system, and I was quite chuffed about that. And that was mostly paid actually at the time. And that's where I learned most of my SEO from that tool. Um, I had my first thousand dollar day, okay, in about six months, and I was super chuffed about that because I thought, wow, thousand dollars in a day, excellent, okay. And I've just did four hundred and fifty dollars in the last three days with the Empower Network, okay. So um, Empower Network absolutely does work, like Nikki said, and it's an excellent opportunity for you guys to earn a lot of money and leverage the system really without you doing a lot of work. Okay, so um, let's just uh, get past this saying, let's, let's rumble. And this actually, guys, okay, is a uh, video testimony from one of my good friends and team members, Jaylin, okay. Um, so I'm going to put it on play. Hopefully, if you can hear that, just let me know if you can hear that, guys, and see it clearly. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Jaylin Brown, and um, I'm here to do a testimonial for Abdul Awahi, and um, uh, I got to tell you, this dude right here, this this dude is awesome, guys. I mean, he is really awesome. I met him back a while back on um, Facebook. Uh, he, he introduced himself to me. And uh, at that time, I was having trouble finding these online and stuff like that. So um, he introduced me to MLSP. I was already in, introduced to MLSP before, but 
I didn't take advantage of it at that time. So, you know, I rejoined up under him, and, you know, I learned a lot from him and following him on his blog, his training site, and his YouTube channel. And uh, I got to tell you, it's just all greatness here. And um, if you need leads and more tips, this is like the go-to guy. I swear this is like the go-to guy. Every time I search for something I need help with, help with this guy always pops up, which is which is pretty awesome. I feel it's a great person and he gives great SEO tips to help you rank on Google and, and, and much more. I kind of analyze him. <laughs> Still to this day, I analyze him and I look at his blog to see how he's writing his blogs and stuff like that. And um, I try to write my blog similar to his, but just a little bit slight different so I can rank on Google also. A couple of my pages ranked on Google Google a while back. Um, he recently taught me how to use the Google keyword search tool, and I started using his little technique, and it started to work out pretty great, and it's still working out pretty great. And um, I'm starting to see some results on my blog, which is, which is very, very awesome. So guys, if you're looking at this video today and um, you need more of these and you're trying to make more sales in your business, I'm telling you, Abdul is the person to, to talk to. Get in touch with him today. Abdul will help you get some leads and learn a little bit about SEO. Or maybe he'll just give you all his tricks about SEO. I thank you for viewing this video. You guys have a nice day. The links are below. Click my links. Click my links. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. So that was just a quick testimonial and a video from a good friend, Jalen. Okay. So let's get into today's training, guys. Okay. So what we're going to be um, basically going over is keyword research for one. Okay. Uh, on page SEO and some off page SEO. And then we've got some tools and resources I'm going to go over with you guys. Just, just share some stuff that I use myself personally that have got me some you know, great results. And then I've got a bit of bonus for you guys that hang about to the end. Okay, about some uh, other tools and stuff I use and stuff like that. So guys, what we'll be covering today, like I said, uh, the three pillars of SEO you must have, okay, in order to rank your pages, videos, and get traffic, okay? So that, guys, is a chart I've just done for you, okay, which is uh, outlaying, okay, what, what you need to do, the three pillars, okay, which is keyword research, uh, on-page SEO, and off-page SEO. Now, I've obviously put 20% of keyword research because that is one of the most important things, uh, even above the on-page SEO. I'll explain a bit more about why that is. And you've got the on-page, which is your you know, page optimization, and the off-page, which is backlinking, and that type of stuff. So let's go to the next slide, guys. Quick overview of exactly what those things are. Okay, keyword research, 20%, okay, it's very important factor in determining if you generate any traffic, leads, or sales. So without proper keyword research, okay, you're just wasting your time with your content. So um, how many people have you guys like, probably seen out there, okay, on maybe on Facebook or YouTube, um, basically bragging about how they're ranking on page one for a certain keyword, and they generate generally massive, massive traffic. Okay, I'm going to explain a bit more about that and how they are not getting that kind of traffic most of the time. Okay, and then we've got the on-page SEO, 10%, 10 Okay, another thing very important, okay, yeah, the easiest part of SEO to do. You won't believe how easy on-page SEO is once you, once you know what you're doing. Okay, and it basically consists of fulfilling a set criteria of on-page elements to indicate to, you know, Google, Yahoo, different search engines what your know, page is basically about. So all that this does is tell the search engine what your page is about and whether your page is you know worthy of ranking on page one. And that's that's basically all it does, okay. Um, the things that it includes are stuff like your formatting on the page. So uh, bold, underline, you know, colors, header tags of your keywords, etc. that kind of stuff. And then you've got your meta tags, okay, uh, your title, description, your keywords, that kind of stuff. Um, you've got your off-page SEO, guys. The most important, important, important thing you definitely need to be doing in your SEO. And it's actually the most neglected thing that people miss out because, honestly, it's the hardest thing to do, but it gets you the most results, okay? And, you know, the one reason why people don't do off-page SEO, it just takes time, okay? But like I said, it gets you the most results, okay? 
So, you, you know, if you have the best content in the world, okay, with the awesome video, pictures, whatever it is on there, if you don't do a lot of uh, off-page SEO, okay, um, people won't see that, okay. So you definitely need to do um, a lot of off-page SEO to start ranking, guys. And I'll be covering exactly what off-page SEO and that kind of stuff is. So, um, off-page SEO basically, okay, guys, comes down into two categories, okay, which is backlinking, which is um, give, giving yourself links from external sites. So there could be blog comments, um, different articles linking back to you, uh, could be forum profiles, signatures, posts, whatever, okay, uh, web 2.0 properties, yes, blogging, social networks, that kind of stuff. Now the new thing, guys, okay, is social signals, or what we call Mojo, okay, is basically getting a lot of social signals back to your pages, because Google absolutely loves it. I'm going to go into more of that in just a bit, okay? <clears throat> so let's let's do a bit of keyword research, guys, and just go over this. Okay, like I said, the number one mistake people make, okay, uh, is write for content that gets them pretty much little to no traffic at all. Okay, so let me just show you this uh, post here, guys, okay? Um, this is actually somebody's post, and the keyword they've chosen is why I chose Empower Network, okay? And it's actually ranking on page one on position two, okay? There's another one by somebody else on position number three as well. Now, that looks, you know, awesome to somebody looking at it. But if you analyze it, okay, let me just show you this actually first. But actually, before before we continue, who's actually, you know, seen somebody do this? You know, like, like post, um, for example, a YouTube video or a Facebook post, uh, basically bragging about the ranking on page one of Google and generating massive traffic from, you know, that single, single post or a single video. A lot of people do it. I've seen a lot of people do it. I've seen one this morning, actually, a video. And I have a look at it, and this is what I found, guys, okay? This is the problem, okay, with doing the random posts, okay, with some basic keyword research, just the basic, and uh, using free keyword tools, okay, um, you can actually see that that keyword, okay, why I chose Empower Network actually gets just 36 visitors, unique visitors per month, okay, which honestly is not much, and it's pretty much wasted time. Because if you split that at 36 people in a month, okay, well, let's say 30 days, what is that? Not much, right? Okay, so um, let's continue on and I'll just show you some of my own personal results, okay? So this is a post I did, okay, earlier on, Numis Network Review, reviewing the Numis Network, which is a network marketing company. And this is another screenshot of another post I did, okay? And as you can see, we've got the SEO Ninja here, Mr. Rob Ford, who I learned a lot of my stuff from. As you can see at the bottom, guys, okay, I've done the exact same keyword research tool. I've used it, okay, and I'm actually getting 880 visitors, unique visitors per month globally, okay, all over the world. And that is for the keyword Lumis Network Review. Now, that, guys, okay, is a lot better than anything below 100. Okay, actually, in fact, anything below 500, okay, what you should be targeting, guys, okay, is about 500 to 1,000 minimum visitors per month when you're doing keyword research. Let me show you some results um, of the posts, okay, that I've done. Uh, this is like Nikki was saying in the magnetic sponsoring we were talking about earlier, and this shows me the stack just to the right. This is actually a plugin in WordPress, okay. Um, it shows you exactly how many unique visitors I've had, which is thirteen, what is it, thirteen thousand eight hundred thirty, okay, uh, which is a lot of visitors to just that post, okay. And then I've got the newest network point of the one up here. Uh, as well as 866 visitors in, in unique visitors, that is, okay? So that's a massive amount of traffic. You know, you can only imagine what you can do with that kind of traffic, guys, especially if you're an Empower Network, okay? You can actually leverage that a lot to your you know, advantage and start generating more leads. The more people you're getting, the more leads you're going to generate and the more conversions you're going to get with your follow-ups. So, guys, this is actually a screenshot I just took today. Um, I just popped into my own personal web, uh, WordPress blog, and I was just having a look through, okay, and uh, there's been a few updates, obviously, with the Panda update and the Penguin update and all that. So, um, as you can see, guys, it's been pretty steady for the traffic for me, okay? You look at that, 40 to 60, and then all of a sudden, guys, today it's spiked up to 82 so far. That's actually gone up uh, if you look at it live. I think I'll show you that a bit later on. And that is for today. So that's some of the traffic you guys can actually do. Right, guys, something exciting for you to look at. 
this guys is actually a screenshot of my old personal clickback account. Um, so let me show you that. All the money in this screenshot, okay, guys, was actually generated through SEO from one single video on YouTube, which gets 2,400 unique visitors per month. Okay, that's a lot of visitors, and all I did was do one video. That's all I did, one video promoting one product. And to be honest, any of you guys can do this, it's not hard, okay? And it's just a bit of basic SEO. Now, today we're, we're obviously doing um, normal you know, posts and articles kind of, kind of SEO. But I believe next week on Tuesday we will be doing video SEO as well. So, guys, if you want to register for that, okay, keep up with our lists and we'll have a link for that as well. So, you can join us next week for the video SEO. Uh, but pretty much is quite concurrent with this kind of training anyway. So that's the video, guys, okay, that I've got. Okay, as you can see, okay, I've got 5,388 visits to that video, and they're all unique. I've got some likes, okay, I've got some dislikes. And I actually published that on the 2nd of August 2012. Since then, okay, all I've done is I've done a bit of SEO, and I've just left it. That's all I've done is just do and let go and just let the results roll in. And this is basically what I've been able to achieve with that one single video. And I've got a ton of other videos out there that do exactly the same thing. So enough talk like that, guys. Okay, let's get down and show you some actual live keyword research and how to do it properly for free organic traffic leads and sales. So I'm gonna actually head over to my own uh, screen and you can have a look at it, exactly what I do when I do SEO. So I'm gonna open up Google, guys, okay? So you can see Google. What you wanna type up here, okay, is uh, Google Keyword Tool, okay? So the first thing that comes up, and uh, just pop into the Google Keyword Tool. Once it opens up, guys, uh, best thing okay to do is sign in. You get more results that way. You can do it without signing in as well, but best to sign in. So I'm gonna actually sign into my account. And okay, I'm signed in right. So what normally people do, guys, inside the Google Keyword Research Tool, and you've probably done this yourself, okay, if you are into SEO at all, is they choose the broad, which is by default, okay. Uh, I'll explain a bit more about exactly what broad exacted phrase mean in just a bit on the next slide. Okay, guys, let me recap this. Uh, but what what you want to do is you want to untick broad. You want to choose exact, okay? And you want to choose only exact, nothing else. Um, I'm gonna actually choose a keyword, right, guys? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's choose something competitive. Make money online, okay? You can choose whatever keyword you like, depending on what niche or whatever you're in, okay? And then you want to choose only show ideas closely related to my search terms, okay? And I'll explain to you what that does. And you click search. Okay, and this, guys, is the only tool you probably ever need, okay, for your SEOs, you know, for the actual keyword research. There are advanced ones which I'll introduce you to a bit later on. But basically, you want to load up your results after clicking search. And what will happen, these results will come up in a random order. You want to click... Uh, the global monthly search is just here, and you want to sort it by the highest to lowest, so you know what kind of uh, what kind of traffic you're getting. Okay, you can ignore the competition. Okay, that really doesn't apply. Uh, you can ignore pretty much everything else here. Okay, don't worry about anything else. You just want to look at the traffic. The more traffic, the better. Okay. Now, obviously, this is a very competitive keyword, so we're not going to actually go for this one. But for the sake of demonstration, okay, you can choose any keyword you like here. Um, obviously, 500 and above. Okay, 500 to a minimum about a thousand. So you're getting a decent amount of traffic. Okay, there's no point, you know, selecting something that's a bit less than that for the reason I showed you earlier. And that basically, guys, is your keyword research. It is as simple as that. You can choose whatever keyword you want. Just make sure you've got exact selected, and you want to choose the right keyword to okay, with the most traffic. And obviously the higher the you know, traffic it is, the more competition you're probably gonna have. And uh, the higher and harder it's gonna be to rank for that certain keyword. So there's a whole bunch of different keywords you can choose one of you. If I was choosing something here, um I use actually a tool called Market Samurai to market market samurai to find out how to what kind of competition I've got against me, okay? So I'll show you that a bit later on anyway, but if I was going to choose something, I'll just probably choose one of these, maybe the thousands up to about maybe 1,600, because the rest of them, they get a lot of competi competition on them. But you can have a look and 
see what's best for you, okay? And that is basically your keyword research. That's all you got to do to find your keyword and find the most profitable ones, okay? And just see, see what competition you got. So I'm going to head back into the slides now, guys, okay? That was basically keyword research. That's all it is. It's as easy as that. It's nothing complicated about it. So let's just pop back into the slides. Uh, skip that. Okay, quick recap. Basically, what it is, you just want to choose exact. That's all it is, okay? And I'm going to explain to you exactly why you want to do that now, guys, okay? And remember to choose keywords which have 500 to 1,000 plus global searches per month, okay? The higher the better, but remember the competition goes up the higher you go in search volume, okay? And like I said, best to sign in. You get more results. If you don't want to sign in, that's fine as well. You get nagged by this little capture thing over here, which I completely hate. Now, what's the difference, guys? Okay, this is a question that I get asked a lot, actually, is what's the difference between exact, broad, or phrase? So let me just show you guys, okay, an exact search for the key phrase. For example, we're going to choose lead generation secrets, okay, for the sake of this keyword. So the difference would be, okay, if you type in lead generation secrets into Google, okay, would be typed exactly as this is by a person searching for it, and it's highly targeted to just that key phrase and only that key phrase alone. Okay, so there's nothing before, nothing after. The broad basically means, okay, it will be lead generation secrets. Uh, we'll bring back results which have the words lead generation secrets in any random order. So for example, it could be free lead generation secrets, secrets of lead generation, how to generate, uh, how to lead generation, how to get lead generation work for you, top secret secrets. So basically any of those words in any random order. That's basically what broad means. Could be anything, anyway. Now, phrase, okay, but basically means, okay, your actual word, the key phrase itself, is going to be in exact order, okay. So you can have any words before, any words after, but lead generation secrets remains in that exact same place. So look at examples below, guys. Okay, so we've got top lead generation secrets revealed. Then we got latest lead generation secrets to generate massive leads. Learn these awesome lead generation secrets right here, and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, that's basically the difference between the three examples. Um, actually, before I go ahead, guys, uh, if you have got any questions, okay, you can head over to my fan page, uh, which is below. Pop any questions in there, and we'll answer them at the end of the uh, training. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, guys, so we're going to go into a bit of an uh, on-page SEO now, guys, okay? Right, on-page SEO, guys, basically consists of the following elements being on the page or the video that okay, you're trying to rank. Okay, the more of these things you have on your page without being spammy, okay, the better you'll be, you'll be able to rank. So the, a lot of things like um, your keyword or your phrase in your URL, or if you're using a WordPress blog, okay, your permalinks on the WordPress blogs, and you can also have EMDs, which is basically the exact match domains, uh, which basically means your keyword adds your domain name. So for example, if you had the keyword magnetic sponsoring review, your domain name would be www.magneticsponsoringreview.com.co.uk, whatever it is. That is an EMD, an exact matching domain, and those actually tend to rank higher, okay? So let me just show you that, guys. This is actually a screenshot from one of my own blog posts on uh, magnetic sponsoring, okay? It's a review I did. And this, guys, is your URL or your permalink, okay? So you want to have your keyword or your phrase in your permalink, okay, or your basically URL, okay? And these are the other elements you want to have on your pages. So you have the title meta tag, you have a description meta tag, um, you have the keyword meta tag, which is not highly used by Google anymore, but it's a good idea to have anyway, okay? There's nothing wrong with having it in there. And let me just show you guys what exactly they are. Okay, this is actually another post I did, okay, which is ranking on number two on Google, okay? So you're getting me a decent amount of traffic, nothing major, but uh, a bit of a traffic uh, that I need to put up. And you got your title, which is this here, okay, guys, which is a shocking by seller scam exposed. And it's the title meta tag, okay? That's what that is. That's what Google sees. And then you've got your description below, okay, guys? And as you can see, okay, in the description, I've got the keyword in it, okay? You want to do that in your SEO, okay? And that's basically 
those two things explained, your keyword type okay, is actually hidden from results. Okay, they, they, don't, they don't actually show up. Right, the other thing, okay, a lot of people wonder about, okay, is keyword density, okay? Um, keyword density is not a huge deal, guys, okay, as long as you have good quality content. That's what it all comes down to, because with the Panda update, okay, guys, um, Google actually looks at your quality more than you stuff in keywords into your pages. It makes a huge difference, okay, guys? So the last thing you want to do is stuff your keyword inside your page loads and loads of times, okay? So you don't want to put magnetic spots in the review, magnetic spots in the review, and keep repeating that in your pages all over the place, okay? Um, to be safe, you want to do about 1.6% to about 2.20% on SEO press, okay? And I'll actually give you proof of this in just a second as well, okay? So that, that, that is a good number, okay? When I go to my blog line. Uh, you want to have H1, H2, H3 heading tags, okay, guys. Um, I'll show you what they are in a bit. And you want to have your keywords bold. You want to have them underlined. Uh, you want to have them italic. And you want to have keywords in speech marks, guys. Um, not a lot of people tell you this, okay. This is kind of a golden nugget. Uh, when you put something in a speech mark, okay, it gives more emphasis to that keyword. And Google looks at that. So that's a golden nugget for you guys. The captions, okay, is another thing uh, which not a lot of people use. It's optional, but it, it does give you a bit of credibility in your uh, on-page SEO. Good idea to have if you can have it, okay? Alt tags, another thing a lot, a lot of people like to use, okay, is you want to have your images with an alt tag. And I'll show you what that is in just a second as well. Um, and then you've got no follow links. Another important thing, guys, okay, um, a lot of a lot of us SEO guys, what we do is we link out to other high authority sites or even other sites that we like, okay? It's a good idea to do that because Google likes the fact that you're linking out to other sites. It shows that you're a real human being, you're writing quality content, okay? You're not doing backlinks. If you make it no follow, okay, Google likes that as well because it means um, you're not spamming, okay? You're not basically giving your link juice away. You want to keep as much link juice within your site. Now, there's two ways of doing this. Um, you want to have no follow links if you're linking externally. You want to have two follow links if you're linking internally. So if you got another post, okay, inside your own blog, um, let's say you got a magnetic sponsoring review, okay, and you're uh, linking that back to something about Mike Dillon, okay, it's within your own blog. You want to have that as a do follow because all you're doing then is spreading the juice between your own site. So that helps a lot in your ranking factors, okay. And the other thing, okay, is anchor text or alt tags for your text hyperlinks, okay? Because I've already covered alt tags for images, but there's also hyper uh, for your hyperlinks. There's anchor uh, text as well, and I'll show you that a bit later on, as well, okay? So uh, let's actually go live, and I'm gonna actually show you an example, okay, um, of doing some on-page SEO. Okay, so just quick uh, get to the point. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and log into my personal blog, okay, guys. For you guys who are in Power Network, okay, it's pretty much the same kind of thing. And there's not much difference other than some bits and bobs. So I'm going to log into my own dashboard in my own uh, blog. Okay, guys, so this is actually my back office. And I've done a dummy post for you guys to get an idea of stuff, okay. So here we go on page SEO criteria right guys can you see um, SEO press on the right because on my one is actually covered by the uh, controls for a web uh, for the webinar controls can you see that Nikki is that okay for everybody else out there yes I can you can just click oh. the uh, red arrow at the top if you want to sh um, Ooh, oh yeah I gotcha I'll do that actually because I'll be able to see how I'm doing as well Ah, brilliant, that's better, okay. So, guys, yeah, um, in Empower, we actually use uh, the SEO presser anyway. It's part of the system, okay? So you don't have to actually go and buy this plugin, but no, normally you have to buy this plugin. So I actually bought this plugin for my own blog. But you don't have to do that with Empower, which is great, okay, guys? So let, let's just get into this, and I'll show you what the score is and everything, okay? Um, on page SEO, basically, as I said earlier inside the slide, right? Let me just show you that again. So you got title, description, keyword, 
um, keyword density will go over h1, h2, and your bold, underline, all this stuff, okay? So what we're going to do, okay, what I normally do, right, guys, is I choose over here, okay, a keyword, and I have that as my permalink over here, okay? So for example, um, like I've got here how to be an awesome, uh, be awesome at SEO. So that is actually going to be automatically my permalink here. So your keyword is your permalink automatically in your blogs. And I believe Empower does that anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you may have to do that manually depending on how you set up your WordPress blog, okay? And then you want to have how I do this, okay, guys? You don't have to do it this way, but it works for me, so it might have worked for you as well, probably, okay? I start off with a H3 tag over here. So what I do is let me just grab this. Let's say that's my keyword, okay? I'm just going to do copy and paste rather than typing it out. Um, so I'm going to actually highlight that. And what I do is I have that as a um, heading. So you can choose whatever you want, okay? Normally, your heading one is automatically the title. So you don't have to do heading one tag. Um, I don't believe SEO Pesso will show you that anyway. So don't worry about it. But I do a H3 tag first. Do a bit of text. I don't know. I'm just going to make some stuff up, okay? Just for sake of this. And you want to have at the start, okay, of your paragraph, where possible, your keyword, okay? If it's right at the start, even better. Well, it has to make sense, right? Remember, guys, because you you want to do quality posts, not just a lot of spam for the sake of ranking. Um, and you can have it. Basically, you want to have it in your first paragraph anywhere, preferably at the start. And okay, I'm doing the post, okay? And then, obviously, not straight straight in the first paragraph, but on a different paragraph, okay? You're going to have it. Oh, sorry, guys. Maybe bolded, and then you can even type in a bit more, okay? A bit more text, and then you're gonna have it, you're gonna have it italic, and you're gonna have it underlined. So I'm not gonna make this long, guys. That's why I'm just doing it like this. You're gonna be underlined, and then you can have it in speech marks, okay? Um, you can have if you're gonna have a hyperlink, guys. Okay, you can do hyperlink. And um, just to give you some, show you how you do that. Okay, I'm on LinkedIn. Okay, and what you want to do is choose a post. Okay, so it could be any post. Uh, let's say have a success secrets. Okay, that's another post of mine. And you've got your title tag here. Okay, that is your anchor text automatically. Okay, and just do add, and that's done for you. That's actually anchor text for you. And the no follow thing, okay, guys, won't work on your uh, Empower Network blogs. Okay, guys, because you can't actually add your own plugins. So don't worry about that. It's not a big deal, okay? But for those of you guys who got your own personal blogs, okay, you can actually go and get a uh, plugin which is a no follow plugin. All you do is you highlight it and click no follow, okay? And that's it. Don't worry about that message just now. But yeah, that's all you do for that. And I'll show you what that plugin is later on in the slides, okay? Um, and that is basically what you want to do for your uh, formatting part of the. Of the, of the on page SEO, you can also change colors if you want. Okay, that's another good thing to do. Like I said, um, you can choose a different color so it emphasizes more on that keyword. And the rest of them, guys, you want to have your tags. Okay, so you want to have a H1 tag there. You want to have a H2 tag. I'm actually showing some a proper post in a bit, guys. I'm just running through quickly, okay, because I don't want to run over time because I think it's already like 40 minutes without anything. Um. And that's your H2 tag, guys. Okay, that that's basically it. Let me just see if I missed anything. Um, you got your underline, you got your H tags, uh, captions. You can do. It's not hard. Uh, no follow. That's fine. That that that's pretty much uh, covering on page. Okay. So let me actually show you a live. Uh, actually, show you one of the posts I've done. Uh, let's just get back out of these posts first. Let me just find. One of my posts. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, what? Let's find Numis Network Review because that one was one of the posts on rankings. So I can give you a good example of it. Here we go. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, guys, look at the SEO score here, okay, with the SEO press app. I've got everything pretty much covered. It's in keyword density range of 2.16. And like I said, guys, you want to have it between about 1.6 to 2.20, so that's well within the parameters, okay? And you know it works because it's a ranking. I've already showed you that's a ranking, okay? 
and like I said, I've got the HC tag over here, as you can see there, my favorite keyword, and I've also got my keyword in the start of the paragraph, and it's bolded. Uh, let me find this in italic somewhere. Uh, here we go, this is in italic here, and it's in speech marks as well. Okay, um, don't know what else I've got. And that is your H1 tag here, guys, with the keyword in it as well. And look a bit more bold in there. Let me see. I think this is anchor text. Yeah, there we go, guys. So this is anchor text, your alternative text. I've got my keyword in there as well. So you want to do that. Um, and I think this is a H2 tag, guys. You want to have a H2 tag. I've got an external link going out, guys, okay, to, and I'm sorry to say about you. Uh, that is actually linking within my blog, okay, guys. So that is a do-follow link, because it's linking within my blog. So it's spreading the juice within my own blog, uh, which is good for SEO, very good for SEO. And what else have we got here? I've got a lot of bold text. I think I've covered pretty much everything there, and if you go right to the bottom, it should be... Um, oh, this is another good tip, guys. Actually, that I'm gonna put on there is if you've done a YouTube video, guys. Okay, is a very good idea to embed the YouTube video within your on-page SEO. So get that video and embed it into your page, and the link back to your YouTube video. What that does, okay, it shows Google um, that you're linking back to an authority site of their own, which is Google, and it spreads the link just between the both sites and get you a um, higher rank because of that alone. And right, guys, as you can see, I've got the keyword in the last paragraph as well. So that is basically your on-page SEO covered. Now, um, with Empower Network, you haven't actually got um, any kind of way of manipulating your title tag, description tag, or your keyword tag, okay? So you don't have to worry about this, guys, if you're in Empower. But for you guys with your personal blogs, okay, you can get a few tools, uh, plugins, sorry, for WordPress blogs. Um, I've used all-in-one SEO, and I'm actually, at the moment, using Greg's high-performance SEO to do uh, my own title tags and head description tags and keyword tags. You can use that, or you can use the all-in-one SEO. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you that a bit later on the slides as well, okay? Um, and what you want to do is you want to have your main keyword in this SEO key, uh, process keyword um, section in your plugin, okay? So, SEO press can determine what keyword you're ranking for and show you uh, whether you're fulfilling the criteria that it outlines for you. So basically what you want to do is when you're doing a new post, uh, this is going to be completely blank. It's going to say you're missing your H1 tags, you're missing your H2 tags, um, you're missing an internal link, italic, bold, whatever it is, okay, you're missing those things. And as you do these things, okay, it's going to start checking them off in this plugin window over here. And what you want to do is you want to check off everything possibly is there, okay? That's all you got to do with your on-page SEO using SEO presser. And with Empower, you've got it already in there, so it makes it a lot easier you have to go and buy this plugin. Right, let's get back to the slides. Right, so let's just get past all this. You don't see all that. Right, we're going to go into a bit of off-page SEO now, guys. Um, off-page SEO, like I said, one of the most important things you can do. Okay, the most important, okay, the most neglected, like I said, too, okay, and the number one reason why people don't rank, even if they have the greatest post or video in the entire world, okay, which is, you know, highly on-page SEO. Okay, so what is basically off-page SEO, let's go into this. Um, off-page SEO is a number of different things, okay, that Google looks at to determine if your page is worth putting on page one of their SERPs. Um, that's search and your results pages. Okay, and obviously you want to be on the first page, preferably on position one to four. Okay, but any one page one is be better than any uh, on page two, three, four. So you want to be on page one. Because that's where all the traffic is. Anything after page one, okay, the traffic just drops down drastically, and you're gonna suffer. So on page, uh, off page SEO things, okay, these include stuff like external backlinking. Okay, external backlinks basically 
pointing back to the page okay, or the video you want to rank. Okay, and the quality of external content and authority and page ranks make a huge, huge, huge difference uh, to where you rank. Okay, the more quality you've got, the higher you're going to go in your ranking. So, I mean, a good example of this might be, um, for example, if you're linking to, I don't know, CNN.com or something like that, okay, .org or whatever it is, that is a high authority site, okay, in terms of what Google sees. Okay, so if you get one backlink from them, it's like a thousand backlinks from a normal, normal PR zero site. So it's huge, makes big, big difference. Now you, you gotta think of a backlinks basically as a vote of confidence in your favor, okay, that Google sees and compares to other websites uh, to determine where and if you rank. So Google will see the, maybe the first 10, 20 pages and you'll see, okay, where, where you know, what, what good things you've got for your external backlinks. Are there quality backlinks? Are there a bunch of crappy backlinks? Are there PR1, PR2, PR0 backlinks? Or are there a bunch of spammy comments? Whatever it is, okay? And then they will determine, okay, if, you, if you're gonna go on page one, or you're gonna go on page 100, or even less than that. It makes a big difference, okay? Um, one thing I do wanna mention, guys, okay, is uh, sometimes people rank on page one, okay, of Google, and then what they see in the next day, they go on page 20 or they go on page eight, and that's something that we call the Google dance. Okay, that is basically Google testing to see where they want to put your site. So don't worry too much about that, okay? If you, if you, if you're, you know, on your first post, okay, if you land on page one, on position two, three, four, somewhere near there, that's likely the place you're gonna stick to if you carry on doing what you're doing. So if you're getting quality backlinks, you keep doing that, excellent, okay? Google will see that happening over and over consistently, and then they'll say, Okay, so also blog post, okay, again, good quality content, is getting good quality backlinks coming in, let's just stick in there and keep him there for a long time and see what happens in the future. So that's definitely something you wanna look out for. Now, very important is the new social signals, okay, or the modules we call it, guys. With Google Plus, okay, being launched uh, now, okay, it's been about, I think, a year or so, whatever it's been, um, Google looks at social interaction, okay, more than ever before. Okay, Google loves human interaction, and Google wants to see real people, okay, sharing your stuff, and G plusing it, um, liking it, tweeting it, sharing it, commenting on your blog post, all that kind of stuff. Google wants to see human interaction, okay. They don't want to see um, robotic views on your videos or robotic spammy comments on your blog posts. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to have as much sharing as possible and get as much social interaction as possible, okay. Google basically sees them as authority votes and makes it a huge difference to where you're gonna rank. The more of these things you have, uh, the better it is for you. It makes a big, big difference. So how do you go about doing your off-page SEO, okay? Where can you get external backlinks from uh, and all that kind of stuff? That's one of the biggest questions that I get asked myself, okay, and a lot of SEO guys get asked. So let's just cover this stuff, okay. Blog commenting, okay, is a very good way of getting quality backlinks, okay. Um, another great way of getting backlinks is guest posting on other people's blogs, especially, okay, if they are high ranking PR pages. Okay, so look at what PR pages you're, you're posting on. And if they're high, that's a quality instant backlink for you guys. So a quality will be anything over P0 basically, on P0 here. So it could be P1, P2, P3, and so on. Higher, the better, okay. Um, forums, another great way, because it shows human interaction, okay guys? Because like I said, Google loves human interaction. Same with a blog and guest posting, it's all human interaction. So Google gives that more power in your link, more juice. Okay, with forums you can do profile backlinking, you can do signature backlinking, you can do in-post backlinking as well. So you've got three different options there. Um, another good, good way of doing it okay, is the web 2.0 sites, like you know, Hotpages, Video, Wikipedia, WordPress, etc. All these kind of sites, uh, Google loves them as well, because they are authoritative sites and the high page rank sites on most of these. So you can put backlinks on them as well. Another great way is press release sites. Um, loads of press release sites out there, and most of them are actually very, very high quality ones. So if you get even one backlink, that is you know, equivalent to maybe you know, 100 P0 ones. So that's another great way. Um, another great way is in article directions, okay? Um, easing.com, 
uh, using article.com is the name. Um, you can go there, you can do an article, you can find Go articles, put up article on there. And what you got to remember, guys, these are high PR authority websites. So Google loves them because they got so much juice flowing through their websites, okay, they're, and they're sharing it. And I believe some of them are actually do follow, and that makes a difference as well. Do follow basically gets you to back to your own websites. So if you're sharing externally, it's an excellent way of getting some more link views back and showing Google, okay, that you're linking from an external site, which is an authority site. And another great way is your own YouTube videos. Now, guys, uh, what I want to say about YouTube videos it is what people tend to do is put the affiliate link first and then they put the comment or description, okay? That's perfect, that's fine, that's exactly what you should be doing. But there's nothing wrong, okay, with putting an external link to another page of your own blog right at the bottom somewhere. It can be anywhere, it doesn't matter. So it can, if your you know, video is about a review on, I don't know, magnetic sponsoring again, okay? You can put right at the bottom somewhere. If you want to check out the full review on my blog, click here and put the link in there. Okay, that will bring some you know, juice back to your own blog from an authority site, Google's own YouTube. Okay, because Google owns YouTube, and that's going to give you a lot of relevance. Okay, it's going to give you a lot of link juice coming back to your own blogs or your posts. And another thing, social bookmarking. Guys. I bet you never thought there were so many different ways of doing backlinks externally, did you? You're probably wondering where the hell these come from. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's also social bookmarking. Uh, places like um, Dig, okay, places like I think Homepage is just um, social bookmarking. Uh, what else is there? There's, there's so many, there's plenty out there, okay. You can use a tool called um, OnlyWire, okay, which allows you to do a lot of backlinking to social bookmarking sites, okay, places like Facebook, like Twitter, that kind of stuff, MySpace. There's billions out there. Okay, now, uh, they are automated tools to doing all of this. Okay, top to bottom, the whole lot will do for you. Okay, um, I'll talk a bit more about that next. Okay, in the next slides or so, and I'll explain exactly what tools I use personally. Okay, and not exactly how to use them because that's a whole different thing altogether. But I'll show you what tools I use, and you can go away if you if you want to get them, try them out. Then it's some you know, it's, it's choice. Um, Right, so how do you get social signals? Like I was saying, okay, social signals make a lot of difference to Google. Google loves it, human interaction, okay? So you can do that by sharing your posts on Facebook, Google+, Plus, um, Twitter, YouTube, MySpace. Um, you can do like your content on Facebook, not just sharing it, okay? You can, you know, key plus your content on Google+, Plus. same with Twitter, YouTube, and MySpace, because they all got liking and disliking on you know, features on these social networks, okay? Um, you can also do blog commenting, like I said. That's another way of getting social signals because it is social because you're doing blogging. Uh, it's human interaction once again. Social bookmarking, which is went over. Uh, different ways of doing that, okay. And you can, what you want to do, actually, guys, this is a very important thing, okay, is you want to create one Google Plus profile, okay, and you want to link all your different social profiles to that one Google Plus account. Okay, and you want to uh, basically make that a central point for Google to know, okay, that Facebook belongs to me, Twitter belongs to me, YouTube belongs to me, to Google that shows that I'm an authority figure, okay, and these are my different, different profiles, and this is what I specialize in. So, for example, if your Google Plus is all about, I don't know, network marketing, and your Facebook's about network marketing as well, and then your Twitter's about network marketing, and then YouTube's about network marketing. You know, Google, Google pretty much knows that's what you're an authority in. That is what your niche is. That, that is what you deal in, okay? You, you're a network marketer, and you know what you're talking about. You specialize in network marketing. And Google can recognize that, okay, by reading from the different social profiles. And a lot, a lot of people do this, okay? You want to do this. Very, very important, okay? Um, so I'm just going to do a quick example of a blog post, okay? And what what you might want to do, okay? So let's just uh, let's just pop it to Google, okay? And let's just do I don't know. Let's just do magnetic sponsoring, okay? That's good. It's easier to do that. Okay. 
Oh, I'm ranking above Nikki and Google. That's wrong, by the way. I think I'm about fourth. Um, just grab any blog post. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I believe that's a blog post. Okay, let's go into that. Uh, is it a blog post? Uh, let's have a look. As long as you've got a little blog post thing, so you've got that here, okay. Easy as this, okay, you want to put your name in, okay. And as you can see, guys, I do this all the time. Look at these. These are some of the uh, blog post comments I've been leaving, okay, a whole bunch of them. And that's one of the ways, okay, I get a lot of backlinks. You can do these 10 a day, 20 a day, 100 a day. You can do as many as you want. And the good thing about doing it this way, they're all unique IP addresses. Okay, and Google loves unique IP and diverse IP addresses, and they're ranked high for that. Uh, obviously, you want to put your real email address in there. You want to put your website in there. Okay, um, what you want to do for your website, guys, is you want to put your actual URL, okay, which is basically the link to the actual page you want to rank. So if it's magnet sponsoring like we're talking about, there it is, okay. And then you want you actually want to read the post, okay. It's very important, okay, because if you want to get your um, actual you know, comment approved, it has to be something relevant that makes sense, okay, and you want to put that in your post, uh, in your comment post. So it can't be a bunch of spammy things at any day, end of the day, that won't be approved. If you want approval, you have to make it look real, human, okay, and a bit of value in there. So you can say something, something nice, like I love this review, I love the way you cover so-and-so, I use Magnetic Sponsoring myself, um, it's a great book, uh, I learned so much from it, this is a great tip, something like that, okay, make it relevant, and then you, basically you've got a link here, submit a comment, that's all it is, okay, sometimes they approve instantly, sometimes you have to wait, but as long as you've got a decent comment in there, and it's valuable, it ain't a bunch of junk, okay, the chances are you're going to get it approved, and you've just generated an instant backlink. That's it. Okay, the higher PR, the better it is, obviously. You can have a look at what PR these blog posts are, and you can put your backlinks on them. That's the basically how you do blog comment. Okay, forums going to be exactly the same kind of thing. Uh, I'm not going to go into every detail, but that's basically what you want to do, okay? So I'm going to cover some of the tools, okay, and the resources that I personally use, okay, which you guys can use yourself if you want to. Uh, go ahead and get them, okay? Now, a lot of these tools are not free. Okay, what I learned a long time ago by my um, friend Rob for okay is don't let being cheap keep you broke. Okay, don't let being cheap keep you broke. Because what you want to do is you want to go and invest in the tools that are get you the result you want. Okay? Because at the end of the day if I never had these tools, I probably would not be ranking for anything now and I wouldn't be on this webinar right now. I wouldn't be teaching you anything because I wouldn't know nothing myself. So you want to invest it's very, very important okay, that you invest in your education. So, let's get into this. SE Nuke XCR, okay, one of the most powerful backlinking tools you can have that automates everything for you. Okay, it's an all in one monster backlink automator tool that creates diverse backlinks on autopilot. It's basically a set and forget thing. You set it up once, you put your backlinks in there, you put uh, what what kind of profiles you want? So you've got different different options. You got you got press releases, um, you've got backlinks from maybe Web 2.0s. You got uh, I don't think you do black blog commenting, but you've got what else have you got in there? You got article directories, uh, bookmarking, social bookmarking. Um, it's got everything. It's got a whole bunch of different. There's so much in there. Okay, but I cannot possibly cover that on this webinar. Okay, it's it's a very very powerful tool. If I had to choose one tool out of all my tools, I'll probably go for this one single tool. So, highly recommended. Now, I don't know if Nikki's maybe got a link to this. You can probably put a link maybe uh, on our team training site if you want to go and purchase it. That's cool. Um, the other tool, guys, I use is Market Samurai. Okay. You've probably heard of this. It's very, very, very good tool. Very, very powerful. Okay. And it allows you to advance keyword research and SEO competition analysis and a lot more. So you can find out what keywords you're writing for using the Market Samurai tool. The other tool okay, that I use is Article Marketing Robot. Uh, basically, it's an article directory backlink automator. Something similar to SE Nuke is a set and forget tool. You do your article in it, you spin it, okay, you put your backlinks in there, and you just blast it off. You can set it to drip, you can set it to do it all in one go. Um, it's completely your choice. 
I drip everything, okay, to make it look as much natural as possible. Best thing is to drip everything, because at the end of the day, okay, you not when when you do something naturally, okay, not everything gets blasted. But you don't do everything in one go. That's not the natural way of doing things. Backlinks come gradually, slowly, slowly, slowly when you look at a natural order of way of doing things. So that's basically what you want to emulate. The other tool, okay, is Digi Traffic Generator. Okay, guys, I'll be honest with you, I used to use this. I don't actually use it anymore. But it is very, very powerful. I'll show you why I don't use it anymore. Because I actually use instead now, okay, I use bookmarking daemon instead. Which basically has all the backlinks from Digi Traffic Generator inside this and a lot more. And you can also go and add your own backlinks to it, okay? And um, that's actually another thing you can do with Article Marketing Robot. You can add your own article directory. You can scrape them off Google, and you can add them yourself. And you can do exactly the same thing with Bookmarking Demon. You can go and scrape off uh, different forums. Uh, if you go to Warrior Forum, I'm sure there's somebody out there who's got like a list, okay? We can buy the list of uh, thousands of bookmarking sites, okay? In my one currently, I've got about, I don't know, 1,700 different bookmarking sites, okay, so that's about 1,700 potential backlinks in a blast, in one blast, and like I said, I drip it. So that's another tool I use. Now, social signals, guys. Social Monkey. You definitely want to have Social Monkey because it's all uh, diverse uh, A-class, C-class uh, backlinks, okay. Uh, they're all different kind of IP addresses. They're all unique, which Google loves, because you want to have as much unique backlinks as possible, because there's no point having, you know, 10,000 backlinks from the exact same website, because they'll still count as one. Google will only class that as one backlink, okay? So you want to have diversity makes a huge difference. And as I was saying earlier on, OnlyWire is a great tool to automate social bookmarking sites, okay? Uh, bookmarking demon does it anyway, but OnlyWire does it slightly different. It's got a bit, bit more different things in there. And I've already covered bookmarking demon, which is here. Now, guys, this is the golden nugget, okay? Try Pro. Uh, if you've got an account, great, okay? If you have it, doesn't matter. You can go to a site called fiverr.com, okay? You can pay somebody, you can outsource this, and get someone to blast your content onto their Try Pro you know, account or on their tribes, basically. And me personally, I've got no Try Pro account, okay? I've never had one, I've never needed one, never used one, and I've Still, still don't need one. Um, you can just go and pay five. Uh, well, it costs you five bucks, okay? And somebody will blast it out for you. I actually do this, okay? And I'm, I'm I'm recovering that. Uh, it's actually one of my golden nuggets inside next week's uh, video SEO and how you rank on video SEO. So I'm gonna go into that a bit more next week, okay? So I'm gonna leave you to think about that. I'm gonna tell you everything about that. But try pro very powerful. And as I said, outsourcing. Fiverr is your best friend. You know, what, what can go wrong for five bucks, guys? Um, you can get plenty of backlinks, you can get social gigs, you can get pretty much anything and everything on, on Fiverr.com. But be careful, guys, okay? You do not want to be blasting, 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 especially from Fiverr, because a lot of Fiverr links, they are spammy. you got to be careful. Check the ratings. Make sure that the person you're buying from uh, has a good rating. Check the comments. Make sure the feedback is good. And then try maybe one gig. Don't buy like 10 gigs, okay, and then find out your you know, your blog is completely blocked uh, blocked up by Google, okay, completely banned. You don't want to do that. You want to be as you know careful as possible. And free backlinks, okay, you can use Pingler.com. Uh, Pingler.com is a pinging service, okay, and it gives you around about 83 different backlinks, uh, which are diverse, okay, which is exactly what you want. And um, not only does it backlink to you, okay. It also pings your website. Pinging basically is to tell search engines, okay, um, that you've got a new piece of content out there. Uh, please index it. That's basically what pinging is. That's all it is. And there's you know, different different ones. There's Ping Farm, Pingler. Uh, there's Linklicious.me, which is something that I use, but that's a bit more advanced. So don't worry about that right now, guys. And I want to actually cover this quickly, okay. Um, a lot of people ask, how quick can you rank? Now, nobody actually knows, okay, how quick you rank, and it really depends on many different factors. Um, one of the factors, guys, okay, is how consistent you are, how much you post, uh, your quality of content you post, okay, but 
you probably heard of the Google Panda update. A lot of people don't know exactly what the Google Panda update is. There's a lot of theories going around, okay, somebody says this, somebody says that. Nobody actually knows what it is, okay. But I'll explain to you exactly what it is because I've learned this stuff myself, okay. Um, so let me just share with you exactly what it is. Okay, the Google Panda update, okay, basically makes it either very easy or very difficult for you to rank your pages or videos. Now, the Google Panda update, okay, is basically a side white update to fight spam, uh, duplicate and crappy content, which is manually checked by real people, okay? So Google is actually manually checking with human real people whether your site is any good. If it's crappy, if it's good, there's a lot of junk backlinks in there. Uh, it checks your you know, backlink profile, anchor text profile. They check all of that, okay? And what they do, okay, is they give your site a score. They give your actual site a score. So your site actually gets penalized. It's not the page like individually, like it used to be. So if, let's say, for example, you got five pages, okay, and those five pages are automated junk, okay, you just duplicate content or uh, lots of keyword stuff in, that kind of stuff, okay, black hat or gray hat kind of stuff, okay, then what Google will do, okay, they'll see that, and the Panda update filter will actually give your site a lower rank, uh, a lower score, sorry, okay, so the Panda update actually gives you, it's a, it's a scoring system to determine okay, whether your site is good quality or bad, and that plays a huge part okay, in if you rank quick or slow, or even at all, or even if you'll ever rank. Okay? So the best thing is to do high quality content and wait and see what happens. Okay, a lot of people out there, what they do is they keep blasting backlinks. They keep blasting because they're not ranking yet. They'll check after a week and they blast it again because they're still not ranking. Then they check after another couple of weeks and they blast it again. All that is doing is damaging your backlink profile. And when Panda sees that, okay, they're going to penalize you for it. Because all this thing is you're blasting, blasting, blasting. And that is not natural. So be very careful with the Panda update, guys. That's basically what it is. Right, plugins, guys. Okay, these are some of the plugins if you're using a personal WordPress blog. With Empower Network, they don't matter. Don't worry about it because Empower Network doesn't actually allow you to add your own back, your, uh, your own plugin. Sorry, okay. So you want to have a Google also link, okay? And this is the person who is by. So if you're searching this uh, on your WordPress blog, okay, in the plugin section, you can just use that name, okay? And you will have a Google XML sitemap, okay, which basically generates a sitemap so Google can see exactly what your content is all about, okay? SEO press, okay? It's, you, you've got that all already with the Empower Network, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you want to uh, add it to your personal blog, then you want to go and purchase that. I think it's, I don't know, about 30 bucks. I can't remember how much it is now. I bought it ages ago. Um, the other thing, okay, guys, you want to have the all-in-one SEO pack or Greg's high-performance SEO pack, okay? Either one of those will do the same thing. Uh, there's not much difference. I'm using Greg's high-performance SEO because I've used that all along since I've been blogging, so I can't be bothered migrating to all-in-one. That's all. That's the difference. Now the low, no follow link. If you remember, I said about no follow and do follow links and the views flow and all that stuff uh, earlier on. Okay, you will get the no follow link plugin. Okay, by Alex Jose, uh, and you want to install that, and you want to make all your external links no follow, and leave the do follow links. Uh, I mean, inter internal links pointing to your internal pages as do follow. Okay, just remember that external links no follow, internal links do follow. And this is a great plugin, guys. It's SEO smart links. What this does, okay, it automatically links within your blog. So you don't have to link yourself. So it links by keywords or key phrases, basically. So, for example, okay, um, if you've got 100 posts in your blog and one of your keywords is how to generate leads, okay, and you're doing a new post on something else, maybe you're doing a post on Herbal Life or something, okay. And you've got the keyword in there uh, about how to generate leads, then that will automatically hyperlink that to that post. So you're automatically getting a backlink to the original post, and you're getting anchor text, text automatically for you as well. So it takes a lot of work out, but also does a lot of work for you. So it's a great way of doing it, okay? Now, guys, bonus training, okay, for all the awesome people here. 
are using Maki Samurai. So I'm gonna actually go into Maki Samurai. Uh, am I running okay on time, Nikki? Is this okay? Uh, well, we are running over, but um, we've we've hardly lost anybody. So um, I would say. Oh, okay, that's good news. You know, if we're if we're running over, I've got a couple of questions. Can we can we just answer yeah. a couple of questions just now? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I I actually couldn't get onto your fan page earlier, so I don't know if you've oh, got okay. any there. Um, you might want to check that in a minute. Well, we can check those in just that. a second. Um, yeah. but we had a question. What was the plugin you were talking about that um actually monitored the amount of people that came to your site? Oh, okay. That is called what's it called? GBI Press Tool. Let me just have a look. I'll tell you what it is. I'll just go on. I need to check it. I mean, Google Analytics does that, but you've got a plugin yes, in as well, I think, asked earlier. Yeah, actually, Rob Ford told me about that plugin. I, asked, I had to ask him about that. All <laughs> so right. Let me have a look. Yeah, I've got it in here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's GDI something. Yeah, it's called GD Press Tools. Okay, and it's GD Press Tools. Yeah. And what does that do again? Um, that will show you the amount of unique back, uh, not back, unique people visiting that post in particular. So let me see if I can get on there. I should. There we go, guys. So uh, let me just go to the published post, not the drafts. Um, here we go, guys. Okay, that's GD Press Tools. Okay, it shows you. Can you see my screen still, Nikki? Any? Yes, we can. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So um, that shows you the amount of views you had on each individual post. So you know if you're getting traffic to it, basically, and how much you're getting. It gives, gives you at least a rough idea. They might not be exact, exact, but, but it gives you a pretty good idea. Yeah, that's good. It's not, right. not a margin of error, really. So, I mean, you can see there's okay. all these posts, and it tells you what you've got. I think that's answered John's... Uh, John, hopefully that... John Taylor, I hope that answered your question. Um, and I've also got another question from. Oh, we've got Frank and people saying, "Yep, keep going, loving it, loving it." Um, oh, okay. John's just said on the screen where he was talking about the number of views to his blog post. He mentioned the plugin that counts the visitors. Yep, so I think that's that's, that's the one. What you mean. Yeah, um, and just one more question um, from Mark Rutherford: oh. Where is the best place to get SE Nuke CR templates, or what is the best template to use? Okay, um, I use mostly was it the full Monty? I think yeah, the full Monty, the three profile version. Okay, I, I believe that comes with it anyway. But if you just Google, you'll find a whole bunch of different profiles, and uh, you can use the templates and just use whatever you like because the different different variations and different reasons for using some of them are social ones only, some of them are for just article directories. But the best one, okay, is probably the full Monty because that covers everything. So it's pretty diverse. Do you know, you've even gone completely over my head on that one, so I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, basically, yeah, I'll explain that. Basically, with uh, with SE you can get a whole bunch of different templates to use. So, so you'd have to do it manually, because manually is very, very hard to set up your own profiles of what links to what and what tiers they link to, because it's like a tier system. So, you, for example, you can have social bookmarking, linking back to article directories, linking back to uh, something else, then linking that back to your money site. Okay, that's the manual way of doing it. But with templates, that's already done for you. And SEMU comes with templates already. Uh, but if you want to download them, you can have a look around Google. You'll find tons of them on there. Excellent. Hope you got that. Yeah, I, I think so, and it's a shame you're not coming to Austin because um, Mark Rutherford has just put awesome steak dinner for Abdul in Austin. <laughs> He's not oh, going, so um, maybe I'll take you up on that then, Mark. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could. I've got so much going on here, to be honest. <laughs> um, right, if you want to do a quick demo, if people would like to see a quick demo of Market Samurai, then um, then keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, all right, excellent. So I'll keep going with a bit of uh, Market Samurai just to give you an idea of... Okay, that's my clutter of desktop, guys. Guys, oh, I don't want to update. Okay, this is an excellent tool, guys. Definitely worth having. Uh, I'm going to actually do a new project, and I don't know, what, what keywords should we talk about? Um, what, what keywords should we try, Nikki? Have you got any ideas? <laughs> I can't think of one off my head. No, how about, uh, how about Empower Network Review, something like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, why not? I haven't tried that one. <laughs> I haven't review. Oh, God. What am I doing? Uh, 
Fuck. Oh, yeah, I'm still easy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, we'll plug it. Okay, guys, so we've got a few different things in here, okay. The one that I use, okay, well, three I use, is the Rank Tracker, SEO Competition, and Keyword Research. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll do Keyword Research first, then I'll show you something. Uh, we have a golden nugget, actually, that you're going to really like. So this is our Keyword and Power Network Review. So what we're going to do is generate some uh, keywords. Like, you can change these settings, okay? You can have a minimum of how many words you want or maximum of how many words you want. Uh, I, I never choose one, to be honest, because that's pretty much, uh, you know, impossible to rank for. Choose about that, too. Okay, and then do generate keywords. Uh, let that just load up. Hopefully it won't be too slow. This is a bit slow, actually, with uh, Marcus Hamra. He's a bit slow using Google Keyword Tool. But hopefully this won't take long. Does uh, Market Samurai work on Macs, Abdul? I don't think it does, you know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe somebody out there might know. It's quite a few uh, things that I don't think it on. does, uh, Nikki. Um, some have, you got, it, have me you got it, Ruth? Actually, it might do. It might do because it is by Adobe and Adobe works on it. I know it's not by Adobe, but they use the Adobe uh, framework. What's it? Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but they use something about Adobe to use it, so it should work. Right, okay, okay. here we go, guys. Uh, some keyword ideas, okay, to do with the Empower Network. Um, so what we can do, okay, we can have positive keywords. So we want to have Empower Network in, in this entire list, okay. This entire list is basically random uh, to do with the Empower Network or network marketing, affiliate marketing, all that kind of stuff. So to narrow it down, what you want to do is, guys, you can put here Empower Network. That's your positive keywords, okay. So anything in this list which has Empower Network, you can take the review out, actually. Anything that has Empower Network in it now, okay, uh, will come up in here. So let's try that out, okay. So these are all the keywords, okay, that Google generate, which contain the words Empower Network. So you got review here, okay, you got reviews, you got all these. And what you want to do now, guys, is you want to go and do keyword analysis, okay. And let me show you this, guys. This is really good. Um, let me just say this. To my preference. Right, but what I do, okay, I set the SEO traffic as zero, okay. That's your minimum traffic from a keyword you want to get. And I just do that as zero because I want to see uh, all the keywords. I just want to see what's, what's coming up. Uh, I leave the trends on so I know um, exactly what is trending at the time, okay. Because if you target a keyword, for example, that was trending back in 2009, okay, and it just completely dropped off in 2013. But it had tra high traffic at that time, then it's kind of almost pointless targeting it. Not quite pointless, but almost. Because the traffic actually does drop that way. So, for example, if you look at this little, what's this? Empower Network 100. Okay, back in January, he had God knows how many, you know, it, it had a good trend. But then it just dropped off, it's not completely clear. So, that's kind of a bad keyword. But let's just go with the Empower Network review, guys. So, that's here, okay. So, um, what you want to do is you want to keep all these stuff. You, you don't need AdWords because you're not doing anything with AdWords. Um, you don't need any of these. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Uh, I do tend to change this, okay, guys, to about, yeah, about make it about, about 30,000, okay? That's basically your competing pages. So, for example, if you type in Empower Network Review into Google itself, it might bring back, I don't know, 40,000 pages, okay? So that's basically going to tell you that you want a maximum of 30,000 pages to show. show. First top 30,000 pages, that's it. That's what, that, that's what that does. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on Analyze Keyword. And once this is done, guys, okay. Now this is a kind of a golden nugget, guys. See the SEOC, okay? Uh, the lower that number, the easier it is to rank for that keyword, guys. Uh, not a lot of people know this, and not a lot of people even tell you that even if they do know it. Okay, the lower that number, and the higher the traffic you can target, the easier it'll be to rank for it. So uh, let me, actually I'll do that in a bit. But yes, yeah, so for example, okay, if you choose, like City Power Network Review, okay, it's actually got an SEO traffic rank, okay, what the rank, traffic ranks of 1,848 uh, unique visitors uh, you can get from that if you're on position one. 
okay? But the SEO competition, guys, okay, is 10,200. So you got 10,200 different results to compete against on different pages. So you got 10,200 page, pages, uh, people to compete against, that's it. So obviously it's a lot harder. But now, okay, if that same keyword was up here, okay, and you had that by about 2,000 people every month, and your SEOC score, okay, was maybe two pages, or two people, sorry, then you've got a hell of a good chance of, of ranking for that very, very fast, very, very high, and being on maybe even position one. That makes a lot of difference to this little column here, okay, guys. Um, you can do that for many keywords. I'll let's try something, I don't know. Um, actually, what I'll do, um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you something, guys. This is actually a, Okay, this is actually a YouTube video that I was ranking for. I don't know if I still am, but let me just show you this uh, a live example of how I find this keyword. Okay, so this is actually a live kind of a blueprint kind of thing I'm doing. Um, okay, I put the keyword in, new keyword. I generate the keywords to find out what's closest matching to that keyword. So it's gonna take a bit of time again. Hopefully, not too long. Uh, after this, I'm going to wrap it up. I won't, I won't, I won't take any more time. Come on. Just had some other questions. Just saying, um, are there any oh, other yeah. pieces of software that you might not might not work on a Mac? But I guess you might not know the answer to that. <laughs> I, I don't use a Mac to be honest, um, but I do know there's emulators for Macs to run Windows on. So I guess anything that runs on uh, on a Windows should be able to run a Mac using the emulator. Uh, yeah, I don't know. J Jason's just said that um, Market Samurai does work on a Mac because Lawrence Tan uses yeah. it. But oh, I they, know, oh, yeah, it does, yeah, for example, I know the Best Spinner doesn't work on a Mac. Um, uh, I use Best Spinner for other stuff as well, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of stuff doesn't. That's that's one of the biggest problems with Mac is you can't get everything to work on it. There's not as much availability for software. So you have to use the emulator. Yeah. Okay, it's nearly done. This is just a keyword research, guys. Okay, I'm gonna show the competition. Competition won't take long. It's like about five, 10 minutes, if that. So I won't, won't take too much of your time, guys. Actually, that's a good point, though, just for, for Frank. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I've been told that you can install Windows onto your Mac, and therefore anything that runs on Windows you can partition your drive. I think, can't you? That means that sounding like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you probably can have two partitions. Yeah, and so you can partition it and um, put Windows on it, and so maybe that's the way around it. I'm not sure, Frank. You probably have to talk to somebody more technical than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so, uh, this is actually loaded up now, okay? This is actually a keyword that I was targeting for one of my YouTube videos, okay? Um, it was actually for a product at ClickBank called the Google Redirect Virus Removal Tool, okay? And I've actually put that as a positive keyword, like I showed you last, and it's brought up all the different keywords to do with that keyword. Now oh, what I'm going to do... Hang, hang on, just, to, just one second. Yeah. Sorry, Abdul. Um, yeah. Can anybody put, hold their hands up? We're saying a few people are saying can't hear you now. Um, oh, can they hear me? I don't know. I don't know. I can hear you fine. I can um, as can well. You hold your, yeah, could you hold your hands up, everybody, if you can, if you can still hear? I know Frank can't. Oh no, it's okay. Carry on. Everyone else can oh, hear. It must be okay. um, <laughs> Frank. Right. Maybe it's just speaker volume. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. So what I've done, okay, guys, uh, I've put the keyword in, which was Google Redirect Virus Removal Tool. That was actually a product I was targeting from ClickBank. Okay, to generate some income from that affiliate commissions, and I've done the keyword generation already. So I've generated the keywords, I bought up all the different keywords, and I've narrowed it down to just that keyword, which is Google Redirect Virus Removal Tool. Okay, and I made it positive. So it's only showing me stuff to do with that now. And the next thing you want to do is keyword analysis, which is the bottom over here, the right corner. Okay, and once again, same options I chose before. Uh, which is SEO traffic zero, trends, keep that on. Competition, 100,000 is fine, doesn't really matter. Everything else unchecked. And then what I'm going to do is click on analyze keywords. And let's see what that brings up. Okay, guys, so um, according to Market Samurai, that, that gets 1,008 unique views per month, okay? And the SEOC, okay, is 2,950, okay? 
this is actually going to be different for YouTube, okay? It's going to be lower, but we'll cover that in the next week's training. So don't worry about that. This is actually showing you Google's uh, own uh, numbers, okay? And as you can see, trends are good as well. So it's a good keyword to go for because you got low SEO competition, but you got good, good amount of traffic coming to it as well. So it's a good challenge. You're going to, you're going to sell a product or something, okay? And um, that's one of the keywords I rank for. And I am making affiliate commissions from it. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to actually show you the SEO competition module now, okay? And how you can determine if it's a good keyword to go for. So we're going to target uh, the Google redirect virus for this, okay? So I'm going to do SEO competition over here. And I take a lot of this stuff off, guys. So let me show you what I take off. I take off, I don't use citation flow. I don't use the trust flow. Uh, I don't use the index count. I don't use referring domains. I don't use referring domains for the pages. Uh, I don't even bother with the domain backlinks. I take out the two directories, DMARS and Yahoo. I don't use them either. And that's what that's all you gotta do, okay? And then you click generate results and it will bring back the results now, guys, okay, to where you're ranking now. If you look at it right at the top, guys, okay, that's me. I'm actually ranking right at the top for a YouTube video. And I'm going to actually click it. I'm going to show you that video so you can see. Okay, that's me there. Awesome. Let me just put on pause. Um, and I'm ranking for that. I've got 5,488 views, okay. And I get a pretty steady flow of people. I'm going to just show you that as well. Right, I'm going to view more stats. So you can see that this is actually getting traffic, right, okay. And it's getting consistently. I've got 646 views. Um, I can narrow that down more, I think, by date. Okay, so consistently, every day, roughly about 20, you have 42 that day, 38 that day, and so on, and so on, and so on. There's, I mean, I don't think it goes below about 18 anyway. So that's a pretty you know, steady flow of visitors coming to your uh, YouTube video, and that's on page one, rank one. And how you find out the competition, guys, is like this. Right, can, you can see that clearly. Um, so you look here. Look for your page rank, okay? Uh, the higher the page rank, the more difficult it is to rank, okay? And obviously, you can see the highest page rank is me right now, guys. So I'm, a, I'm basically the competition. Uh, everybody else has got page one, page four, and so on and so forth, okay? So the more green you see in Marquis Samurai, the easier it is to rank. The more red there is, the more difficult it is to rank. And that's how you determine, okay, how easy or how hard it is. Now, if you look at this in more detail, okay, it tells you the amount of backlinks people have got. Now, if you look at this, okay, my YouTube videos got only 117 backlinks. Um, hang on, let me just look historically. Okay, right, this is probably more accurate. Uh, I've got 201 backlinks, including the fresh ones as well, that is, um, to that YouTube video. And then you've got number two, okay, which is Mozilla, okay, is an authority site. And it's PR1, okay, but that's the reason it's right at the top of that site, is because it's an authority site. Google recognizes that. And then you've got the rest of these sites. And if you look, okay, the backlinks make a big difference. Uh, some of them have got quantity, but they're lacking the quality. Okay, like I said, it makes a big difference. But also, guys, if you look at number four, so one of the reasons he's ranking is he's got an EMD, an, an exact matching domain. So he's actually got the keyword inside his uh, actual URL in his domain name, okay? And obviously for him, the, the exact word wasn't available, so he put a 911 at the end. But you can do that, and you rank a lot easier. It makes a big difference, okay? And if you're kind of looking, keep analyzing, okay, you've got loads of people with um, the title tags, okay? So that's the title tags in your blog posts, uh, as in YouTube videos as well. and it's a lot of people without. So these are people you're basically competing with, okay? Some of them have got the tags, some of them haven't got the tags. So that's your competition. And that's how you're going to determine uh, if you can rank for a certain keyword. Uh, it's not just for videos, it's also for your blog posts as well. Um, and then let me just close that one. I'll show you Empower Network quickly. So you want to see uh, the competition on Empower Network, which I think is pretty high. I think Rob falls up somewhere there as well. I haven't even tried that yet. I might give that a go now. Uh, I think I might be worth a try. Oh, Rob Four's there, look, but it's at number 10. So it's pretty damn hard to get there. If Rob Four's at number 10, it's going to be very hard to rank for guys. Okay, but the good thing about Empower Network, okay, it's an authority blog. 
So it's already a PR4, so you've got the authority there to uh, write a lot of blog posts. And if you look at these, okay, it tells you in you know, full detail what, what your competition is. You've got a lot of PR1s, uh, you've got some PR0 sites, um, there's a lot of PR3 and 4. So it's kind of a medium competition, but if you look, there's a lot of red. Lots and lots of red, lots and lots of red. Uh, that means it's very difficult to rank for. Okay, and if Rob Four's got 4,022 backlinks and he's got a PLC domain as well, and he's still at number 10, that's <laughs> going to be pretty damn tough. And that's Rob Four, you know, he's an SEO yeah, Jedi. He is. You might change my keyword then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is going to be a tough one to go for, definitely. Uh, I might try it, I might just give it a go. Sometime, you know, it depends. Um, it's just your luck sometimes as well, to be honest. Just, that's just the way it is with SEO sometimes. So um, that that's basically using uh, Market Samurai. That's the only two modules you're ever going to use is SEO competition or keyword research. That's pretty much it. I think um, that's a wrap. Let me see if I've got any more slides just in case I missed anything. Which I don't think I have. Nope, that's it, guys. Now uh, go rock and rank your posts, generate free traffic, leads, and sales. That's wow. a wrap. <laughs> Wow, 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 Abdul, that was absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, my mind, my mind's blown here, absolutely, and I'm sure everybody on the uh, on the call is too. Give me a hands up if you uh, if you got some value out of that. So I thought that would, yeah, everybody's everybody's pretty much putting their hands up now. So, uh, Abdul, that was fantastic. I picked out a couple of things there. Don't let being cheap keep you broke. Wow, yeah. what a powerful phrase that is. Absolutely, don't let being cheap keep you broke. You know, ultimately, this is a Sorry. business. If you want to learn something and be as good at something like Abdul is at search engine optimization, then you know you have to follow the best, buy the best, and you know then you'll work at it and you'll be the best. So you know, absolutely brilliant. I got a tip there as well, something I didn't know, um, Abdul, which was um, getting the link back from your blog to YouTube. I'd never thought of doing that. You know, I put oh. my YouTube. Um, video into my blog post, but I'd never thought of linking back to YouTube. Yeah. That's, um, that's really a good difference. Tip yeah, yeah, really good little tip there. So um, that was that was absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna um, just before we finish off. I mean, as I say, everybody's got their hands up. So that was that was a real a ton of value you gave there, Abdul. So thank you very much. I mean, most people would charge for that sort of information, Abdul. So we really appreciate you stepping out and doing that. Um, You're very welcome. Right, hold on, let me just see if I can take the screen back. Okay. Right, let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen, Ruth? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yep, I can see. Okay, perfect. Okay, so so just to finish up, guys, um, you know, for those of you who are in Empower, then you know the sort of training that uh, that we give. That's you know, that is a marketing strategy, and it's a fantastic one because it's a, it is well, we, <laughs> there's no such thing as free really, but it is a free marketing strategy in terms of, you know, being able to um, post your content, do a you know, do a few tweaks that that uh, that Abdul's been showing us. And essentially that blog post or whatever could then be ranking for years. You know, I know I've certainly got, and I'm sure, you know, and Ruth does as well, I know, we're, you know, we're still ranking for stuff. Um, and, and if you, you know, if you start to really think about this, you know, when you're doing, um, you know, if you're promoting anything that's an affiliate program, you're going to be able to earn some money from your blog posts once you know how to market it so that that's going to appear on page one. Page one means money. You know, if you've got something that you're promoting, if you can get on page one for a fairly highly ranked, um, you know, uh, product or service, then, you know, you're going to get money. So that's why it's so hard to rank for Empower Network, because Empower Network is 100% commissions. So, um, you know, th thanks for doing those live demos, Abdul, because I think that was really useful, because too many people tell you what to do and not how to do it. And, and you know, that's yeah. really cool. And that's something that, as part of our it's more team... showing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, don't tell me, show me. And for the for the less technical people, as I say, people have different strengths. And what we offer as part of our team is weekly training sessions like this, where um, you know we're going to focus on one strategy, and you just pick the strategy that's right for you. 
um, you know, SEO can get very, very technical. There's a, you know, I, I do it to a degree, Ruth does it to a degree, but we don't do it to the same degree that Abdul does it, and, you know, and he loves it. And the reason Ruth and I don't do it is because we don't like it so much. Um, <laughs> you know, I like getting my stuff ranked, and yeah, it's great when they're there, but, you know, I don't want to spend hours and hours building backlinks or, you know, doing all these techie tools, but, you know, it's a very, very good strategy, and I know, you know, there's a few people on tonight that I'm looking at that I know they're technical, and I know they will have absolutely gobbled up everything you said there because, and they'll be, you know, they'll be doing it and on your tail. So, uh, you know, brilliant. But what else do we offer? Well, we offer a private team training site to help complete newbies get started and go through the basics. And uh, as I say, this will be recorded and put onto the training site. So this is going to be our search engine optimization one. So it's absolutely. <laughs> great but as you know as we're doing these weekly training webinars we're focusing on different things and you know they'll all be recorded and put on the site so next week we're going to be covering back with Abdul again he's going to be sharing again with us on how to get your videos to rank so we'll look forward to that we also offer a private team Facebook group for discussions and team support and chat um, it's a very very useful group where people could just pop in ask a question if you want an accountability partner you can work with someone you know we're all about helping each other because you know everybody's got different strengths and weaknesses and it's great to be able to call up different people in the team to be able to come out and you know so that it's not always having to be Ruth and I that do it every single week so you know we both said tonight it's fantastic you know we got a bit of a breather tonight we didn't have to you know do a huge amount of preparation tonight poor old Abdul had the lot <laughs> <laughs> what, a great, what a great presentation it was! It was fantastic. My first one ever. Uh, was it? Oh, it's, yeah. it's, we, we had his virgin presentation. Look, fabulous. <laughs> well, if that was your first one, Abdul, then as I say, you, you, we're going to have to start charging people for the next ones. I think, uh, you know, unless they're in our team. But anyway. Um, you also get access to an additional wider team coaching Facebook group um, with the number one income earner in power and our own coach as well who's in the top ten earners in power as well. And you know the weekly training web webinars with us showing you what's working right now and we do get a lot of um, good feedback from the webinars so um, you know it's it, it really really helps people and it's, it's what's making our team really grow in the way that it is right now. So, you know, imagine waking up to, you know, you're talking about, you know, Ruth mentioned earlier, you know, waking up and just having or having to work really hard just to get a 10, 20, 30 or maximum 40 percent commission. You know, with the Empower Network, if you learn some of these strategies, you're getting 100 percent commissions and pass ups. So, yeah, you pass up some of yours, but, you, you know, you can get a lot more in pass ups that come back to you. And when that kicks in, you know, this makes a huge, huge difference. So, you know, $1,000 commissions, you know, Costa Rica, $500 commissions, 1000 you know, your team member just earned you $1,000. Ruth was out enjoying time with the kids or sleeping or, you know, doing whatever. Same here, you know, you've just referred someone and then I think your team member, look, your team member just earned you $1,000. That's when you suddenly start to think, wow, you know, all this training people and spending, you know, Ruth and I have really, really worked hard at this. Um, you know, to help our team, and now we're able to reap some of the benefits. And uh, you know, it's it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. This really works. You know, here's another one. Someone who's just had a two thousand two hundred dollar a day in Empower alone. This is you know, this is happening all the time. Woke up to two sales this morning. It's amazing how far you get when you simply believe in yourself. And I think that's it. That's the difference between success and failure is really believing in yourself and believing in the system that you're doing. And when you know you've got 100% commissions, when you know you've got the full training and support, you know, literally everything is here to help you succeed because we're succeeding. So we're just showing you and the team's succeeding. You know, we've got people on the leaderboards now, you know, and it's just such a fantastic feeling to knowing that we're helping everybody to get the team support that they need to uh, to really start achieving this you know people that have never earned money online before so it's absolutely fantastic i mean abdul's only been in well just a couple of weeks and he's um you know just this week he was saying he's had sort of notifications of 400 dollars, and he hasn't even had a chance to get anything seo'd out there yet for empower so there you go it's true i haven't there you go uh you know christina Munner's 33,000 in a in a first 90 days um and that person christina Munner's, was the one that made ruth actually join the company or get you know get started back again into the into the company when she previously sort of ignored it 
Stevie Knight made over four thousand dollars. You know, this is changing people's lives. The Empower Network is really helping people in this tough economic time. Neem, she's a mum of uh, you know two little babies, and she went from serving coffee in Starbucks to be able to hand in a notice and earning a five-figure income online, five-figure monthly income online. And and there's our own little Ruthie. Look, over seventeen hundred dollars just last. Well, this was this. These slides are a bit old now, but that was just by, just before Christmas. Um, you know, seventeen hundred dollars just in last week. What what dif you know what would that do for you? You know, that's it's just so much help, isn't it, right now? And if you can show people how to do this, you know, eighteen hundred and fifty dollars in just two days there. Um, you know, sixteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars there on the same day. It you know it works. So as I say, that was one strategy that we were showing you in terms of search engine optimization. It's a big one. Here's another one. We sponsored somebody today who's joined the team. I don't know if she's on the call tonight. I need to check. But through Facebook, I would say 50% of my team has come through the relationships that I've built with people on Facebook. Um, so that's another strategy that we have right inside um, the team training my website to, to show you how to do just contacting a certain amount of people per day. It's all there for you, one hour a day. We show you the exact way to get 10 free leads a day just from contacting 20 new pe targeted people a day. And because we're showing you how to connect with targeted people, you know, you can do that five days a week, four weeks in the month. That's 400 people a month. We know that 50% will show interest because you're contacting targeted people. And of those 200, 100 will watch the video. And we know from the generic stats through the company across the board that of every 20 people, of every 20 out of every 100 people who watch the video will join. Imagine putting 20 people into your business every month at 100% commissions. And that's why this can work very, very fast. 20 new people in your business, 20 new people at $25. That's just the very basic that they come in at $25 in the first month, $500. We know across the board because Dave Woods tells us that on average, and I have to say this is very conservative, he says 30%, it's more like 44%, I think, in my back office at the moment, will upgrade to $100. Okay, will upgrade to the inner circle membership, which is $100. Remember, if you're looking at that and thinking that's $125 a month, I'm thinking that's one sale. One sale, because it's 100% commission. So change your thinking. Six people at $100 is $600. That's $1,100 your first month, residual. That's gonna come in every single month, okay? And then you're just gonna build on that, literally, rinse and repeat, build on that every single month. This is just one strategy, again, that we have in our back office training. This is our unique training site. It's not something that every team has. It's only in our team. Okay, so just a little bit, you know, that's the empower of empower. And this is the sort of team training that, uh, you know, that, that we're able to offer our team. It gives you 100% commissions. You get the money paid up front, which is so different to network marketing when you have to hang around and wait for the activity from your team before you earn, you know, a measly $20, $30 commissions and you know that's what was crippling my business that's what was crippling Ruth's business and you know we just didn't like the prospecting that we had to do and you know ultimately it just affects the way you think about the company so you can run this alongside another business you can blog about your products you can blog about absolutely anything you like you know we're really really helping people so I don't know if this is for you, you know, only you can decide whether or not this is the sort of um, business that you would want to be involved in. Um, you know, what sort of results are you getting right now? And are they good enough to see you through the year? Because we're changing people's lives with Empower. It's all there for you. So with that being said, you know, what next? Um, when you logged on to the webinar, you should have been asked who it was that in invited you here. Um, so if you're interested in joining our team, no matter who, you know, everybody that's come to here that's um, one of our team members will have invited you to this, then um, go back to them because you will get access to everything that we've mentioned on the, uh, you know, on the website, all the trainings, all the back office, as long as they're in our team and our downline, you will get access to every single thing that we mentioned. So get back with the person who invited you here, ask for their join now link, book your strategy meeting, and, you know, then we'll 
just get you know get you kick started off into changing the next. We've got a lot of things, exciting things happening. We're going to do a blogging challenge. We're going to really start getting some activity going, um, and we're going to, everybody's going to be sharing everybody's posts so that we get all these social backlinks that uh, that Abdul was talking about earlier. So lots of exciting things happening over the next 90 days. So just before we go, have we got any final questions? Let me just have a quick look. Ruth, have you seen anything on there? Yeah, I'm just having a look too. Um, I've actually lost the question box. <laughs> oh, hang on, here we go. Okay. Um, good. Okay, Frank. Uh, Abdul is a legend. That's from Rick. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he learned from Rob Four because he's awesome. There you go. That's from Ian. Thank you, Ian. Um, hi, not in your team, but can I join in next week? Would love to hear what Abdul has to say about videos. Uh, Lisa Lott, yes, of course you can. Absolutely. Um, Mark Rutherford, great training. Thank you all. Um, and I think, oh, hang on, great job, Abdul. That's from Frank. I think, yeah, I think he's a techie. Wow, indeed. Much to take in, loads of value. Over delivered from Jason. Great training, Abdul. Thank you. Yep, loads of thank yous. Oh, and the Mac software that we were talking about to run Windows is called Bootcamp, apparently. That's okay. from Mark, my techie Mark. Um, and yep, I think I think that's it. I think that's everybody covered. So, um, so once again, thank you very, very much, Abdul, for everything you've done this evening. And very um, welcome. Really excited about next week's one as well. And uh, with that being said, we'll uh, end the presentation. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. Thanks, guys. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys.